Let's review our Honeycomb vertical application installation of an inside mount split stack. A split stack has a right panel with a moving rail and a stationary rail, as well as a left panel with a moving rail and a stationary rail. There is a center pull plate that keeps the two moving rails together in the center. Attach the bracket shim to the bracket. The shims are necessary for the valance installation. Install the brackets 8 inches from each end and space the others evenly. Detach the rail clips from the fabric clips. Twist the rail clip while holding the base of the fabric clip in place. Remove the end plate from the left side of the headrail. Slide the moving rail bracket into the back track of the headrail. Insert the rail clips into the front track of the headrail. Install the stationary brackets into the stationary bracket rails. Pick up the headrail and both panels as one unit and place them near the window opening for assembly. Unwind the cord from the right end plate. Slide the cord tensioner into the slot in the front of the headrail, then screw the right end plate into the headrail. Partially attach the valance clips. Next, install the headrail. Pick up the right panel, the rails and the fabric as one unit. Install the stationary bracket of the right panel. Next, install the moving rail bracket into the moving rail. You may need to remove the snap pin from the moving rail. The moving rail bracket is hinged to allow easier access for attaching it to the moving rail. Replace the snap pin through both the moving rail and the moving rail bracket. Attach the fabric clips to the rail clips in the head rail. Repeat these steps with the left panel. Install the stationary rail. Slide the moving rail bracket into the moving rail. Insert the snap pin. Snap the fabric clips into the rail clips. Verify that both stationary rails are flush against the end plates. If necessary, place the tip of a screwdriver against the top bracket and tap it gently with a hammer. Use the inside mount adapter to secure the stationary rail to the side of the casement. Insert the center pull plate and screw it into the center point of the head rail. Next, adjust the cord tension. Pull on the cord to release the slip knot. Create tension with the cord, then retie the knot at the cord tensioner. Trim off the excess cord. Test the shade. The moving rail should slide easily, yet there should be enough cord tension to hold the shade in place at any position. Decrease the cord tension if the moving rail does not move smoothly. Increase the cord tension if the rail does not hold its position at all. To tension, slide the cord tensioner away from the end plate until you feel resistance. If the shade binds or doesn't move smoothly, check for a cord bind. You should be able to feel the spring as you pull on the cord tensioner. Next, you want to adjust the vertical alignment of the moving rail. Locate the adjusting lever on the moving rail bracket. To adjust to the right, loosen the left screw half turn, then tighten the right screw half turn. Repeat until the shade is properly aligned. Next, attach the valance. Slide the valance up into the top of the valance clips. Rotate the valance down and snap it into place. Once you hear the first snap, tap the valance at each clip to snap the valance onto the head rail. Next, attach the handle. Position the handle so the holes on the flat portion of the handle are aligned with the screw holes on the moving rail. The curve of the handle should face out away from the fabric. Attach the handle with the screws provided. That concludes our Honeycomb vertical application installation. Additional instructions can be found in the installation guide.